Hey there, I was just making a video about Christians and current instability in the world and how Christians are called by our holy book to interact with uh, government as things become more turbulent and challenging and as the government becomes uh, deeper ingrained in a global conflict with China and Russia and all of our adversaries. You know, America is a wonderful country. We stand for good. We have we come from the most wonderful of origins, the purest of stock. And that is indeed true. Um, obviously, people who don't like America try to associate and accentuate any derogatories they can find with American history. But if you're a pure purist in doing analysis, you'll realize how good we actually are in our origins. Um, I would encourage people to check out wallbuilders.org and uh, David Barton and Rick Green, uh, as well as Prager University. The, the relationship Christians are supposed to have with their government is that it's illustrated in many verses. Um, one of them is uh, encapsulated in the thought, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. Um, in, in this specific Bible verse, money was in taxation was the specific item being questioned. But if Jesus is telling us to cooperate uh, with government in a peaceful, non-warlike -war fashion um, in one domain, then it's f a fair assumption to, that he would want us to interact in the same mode in all the other domains uh, with government. So basically Christians are called by our holy book to actually abide by the rules of the land, to... Uh, oh, by, by the current rules, to understand that the government of man is not as enduring as, the, as God's government over his creation, but that there is, you know, there is a place for human-based government simply for the fact that humans demand it, humans want it, humans have created it. And we had wonderful humans that framed out and penned our founding documents in the beginning of our wonderful nation. And uh, there are more documents, there are more verses that speak about honoring your government. Um, I would encourage everybody to take the five to ten minutes to just go and do a word search on these topics. Instead of just hearing a guy like me or some other voice on YouTube telling you what you should think, please just take five to ten minutes, hop on the internet, hop on a uh, Bible search tool of your choosing. Do it your way, but do the search that you'd like to learn the answers about Christianity and interacting with human forms of government. Uh, there's very few limitations on cooperating with government, and generally it has to do when, when uh, government is trying to annihilate the church or wipe the church out. Uh, extinguish the church. Um, but for most most instances, humans are tr to treat the government as Christ would treat the government. Christ lived a selfless example. He cared more for the betterment of others than his own betterment. If he was putting himself first and in his own health and well-being first, he would not have even allowed them to put him up on the cross. He would have indeed called down the legions of angels from heaven and wiped everybody out and he wouldn't have allowed them to pierce his flesh. But we know from scripture that Jesus gave his life for us. He died trying to love and forgive the sinners that crucified him. And that is true selfless, true God level love. We are called uh, the term Christian means to be Christ-like. I am trying to fashion myself more into the likeness of Christ.